Hey guys, I was checking on some online items for sale here in Budapest and ran into a very interesting item which is pretty rare here. Since I turned out to be the only bidder, I got it for an extremely good price. It's a 1963 Heathkit VTVM model IM13, in perfect shape and fully functional. As far as I understand, it had been somehow originally ordered from US and assembled by the previous owner who even wound the transformer for it and converted it to 230 volts. You can see that the cord was just clipped and European plug was installed instead. It came with many cool accessories, the original manual is in perfect condition, I will make a high resolution scan, but you can also see a preview at the end of this video. I'm not sure if this leather bag is original, but it's pretty neat too. One buckle seems to be missing though. It came with two probes. This bigger one is the RF probe for troubleshooting radios and TVs and the other one is a standard probe which is switchable between AC and ohms in one position and the DC in the other. Check out how stylish and spacey the design of this probe is. I cannot even imagine how impressive this was back in 1963. I'm not sure how affordable these kits were back in the day, but the quality is really outstanding. One of the most interesting things I've found in the box is the 5 core solder, which is still in its original package and hasn't been opened. Imagine, President Kennedy was still alive when this thing was manufactured and packed. Some nice quality assurance notes are here as well. The missing buckle was carefully put away to this small box along with the battery spring. The battery spring is not used because the original owner added a tap and a simple circuit to the transformer to provide a DC voltage for resistance measurements. You can also see the documentation that came with the RF probe. I really admire the owner's effort to keep all these things in such a shape after all these years.
The standard probe is in good overall condition except for the switch, which is a bit flimsy, but still seem to be working fine. I hooked a meter from end to end of the positive probe lead to test the switch and measure the resistor which is inside. When in DC position it measures around 1 mega ohm and in AC or resistance position it shows continuity or close to 0 ohms as it should. It's time to see what's under the hood. I just needed to unscrew about a dozen screws around the edges and the whole chassis just slides out. It's in pristine condition and all the parts are original parts that came with the kit, except from the parts used for the power transformer and the battery modification. By the way the modifications that the previous owner made are done well and everything works just fine as you will see. I fired it up through the variable transformer and the tubes in the pilot lamp lit up. This VTVM, like most VTVM circuits, uses one 12AU7 and one 6AL5 tube. I'm following the calibration instructions and when I try to do the zero adjustment I've noticed that the plastic cover has a static build up and the needle goes wild when I move my finger close to the cover. I had the same problem on my other RCA VTVM and the best and the easiest solution is to take a bit of dishwashing liquid and a paper towel or something similar and just rub it into the plastic. It will clean the surface and also get rid of the static buildup.
As you can see it works like a charm. So once that's done I switch the VTVM to DC plus volts and let it warm up for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes you should see no needle movement when you switch from DC plus to DC minus. To calibrate the DC meter I first measured the 9 volt battery with a digital meter and then hooked it up to a VTVM and calibrated it as accurate as possible. This is not really critical since VTVMs are used nowadays more as a visual aid than a high precision instrument. It's more important that all functions work fine. For resistance calibration you turn the ohms adjust to the infinity line and then when you short the leads it should deflect all the way back to zero. For AC calibration I've connected the leads directly to the variable transformer and dialed in 100 volts. Everything works perfectly and the VTVM is now calibrated. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video and sort of a time travel as much as I have. I will make a high resolution scan of the manual so you can check the video description in a couple of days for the PDF download link. The manual is truly amazing, it shows step by step assembly instructions and many useful building and testing techniques. It explains why VTVM is important and useful tool and how to use it properly. If you were a kid in the early 60s and had a chance to purchase and assemble a similar kit, please share your experience in the comment section below. I would really like to hear a story related to this magical period in space and time. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you would like to see more videos like this one and other interesting projects, consider supporting me on Patreon. You can check the Patreon link in the description. I would like to thank you all and wish you a happy new year. Thanks for watching.